All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Driveway Engineer. I am JR. That's for another day. Today we're doing Toyota. Uh, to give you guys a quick overview before I get too far into it, I'll show you guys what is and some of the stuff I'd like to change anyway. Um, but the problem is that this thing like radically overheats. You drive for about 15 minutes and then it just pegs it's boiling the coolant it's pressurized uh i don't know that it's not a head gasket i think it's not but we'll see it might be a cracked head i i pulled another head for 25 bucks if you haven't been paying attention um so this is a mercedes om 617 five cylinder it has an he whole set he 221 turbo with a 5.5 centimeter exhaust housing it has a diesel Meccan 7.5 millimeter super pump. The stock elements are 5.5 millimeters. Um, yeah, and that's it. Uh, the first thing that I'm definitely going to change is I'm going back to a two and a half inch downpipe. This three inch downpipe doesn't fit. I don't know if you can see in there. I had to bend it. it it's just a pain. I don't think it's making me any more power. Um, and I would like to get, get away from it. So... 2.5 inch stainless i used a mild steel 2.5 inch originally and it fit fine and it cleared everything beautifully it rusted in like immediately so uh that's gonna go away uh this discharge it's just an elbow it's just an elbow it's not intercooled doesn't seem to need to be intercooled um you know, unless my parameter is wrong, I, I never see real high EGTs, but we'll see when this head comes off. The second glaring thing that I'd like to change is this giant radiator. It's for a Nissan Skyline, and somebody on the internet said it dropped right in um, when it showed up. It did not at all drop right in, and I had to hack and cut and cut and hack to get it in there. Um, I didn't have to i could have been more patient and sent it back and done all that but at the moment i didn't feel like it so uh but there's a like an angled bracket that's supposed to go from here on this bumper down and it's not there anymore because i had to cut it to get this under the hood so i'm going to go down to a three liter uh v6 radiator which will actually fit in there and be shorter and i can put my bracket back on and uh all will be right with the world. I can put the top, my core support back on. I don't know if you can see, but this is kind of, the two fenders are starting to be independent of each other, not being tied together. Um, what else do we got here? This is a doomsday diesel uh, serpentine setup. This is an LS style alternator. This is a Jeep XJ Saginaw pump. Last time I drove this, all the uh i don't know that's sitting yeah all the all the bolts sheared off um i don't know what grade these bolts are 8.8 .8, yeah it should have been 10.9 um for a balancer but i'll get that fixed um these fans are not really adequate I might swap them to something else. The janky $20 eBay. This might be the cause of the whole thing. I think, I thought that this went bad. And so I pulled over, you know, my temp pegged, my fans weren't running. I yanked this out. Um, I hooked it straight. And then ever since then, it's been overheating. So I might just have a bad head gasket or I might have a cracked head or both or a hole in the piston, but I don't think so. Cause the oil's clean. See, there's no coolant in there so um stuff that has to come off injector lines some of this serpentine bracket bolts to it this comes off as a unit the intake and uh exhaust manifold and uh i'm going to take this radiator out so i can work in the front not be such a big deal and uh i'll bring you guys back when it's torn down to just a long block. All 
All right, so several hours later on the SpongeBob time dealy. Uh, front dress is torn off. Not super impressed with how easily my gusset broke off my doomsday. Look at that, just popped right off there. Boy, was it a lovely stack dime though. He really criticized the welds of others. And then when it's time to make them, you didn't fail. Anyway, um, I'll show you guys this real quick. I have to line these two hash marks up, which I more or less have. So I'm at top dead center in theory. It seems like I'm not. It seems like I might be a tooth off. Um, one of these lobes should be pointing directly away from the valve and it's not um yeah a lot of a lot of stuff to undo here but there's no timing cover um so i have to mechanics wire this to the gear and then i'll pull this pin and i can pull the head around the timing chain which kind of sucks uh you got to keep tension on it the whole time I've not done it because I just took the whole thing apart in a stand, but uh, yeah, I have my questions as to whether, or I have my doubts as to whether or not this thing's on top dead center looking at it, but regardless, I got to get the head off. I can deal with the timing later. Um, maybe that's why I didn't make any power. I don't know. Maybe that's why I think it sucks to drive. We'll see. I'll, uh. I might not get the head off today. I probably will. One of the challenges is it's super windy up here. Um, so I'm gonna have to cover this up because it'll absolutely fill with dirt and dust while I have it off. But uh, I gotta wire this together, get tension on it. Then I gotta take the bolt out. Then I gotta take the cam off. Um, then I can get to all the head bolts. So I'm gonna leave the injectors in. That's the way I've been doing it. And that's the way I'm gonna do it now there's a special tool this thing which is a triple square that's what they call it it's legit you really need the thing you're not gonna get the head bolts out without it but fortunately i have one so should have this head off in an hour or so here um yeah i'll bring you guys back these kids are being fucking weird but you know they're kids whatever to be expected bring you guys back and with the cam off and everything else this is kind of what you're left with um you see why i had to tie this up there's a pin in here and i think that it's threaded it's kind of dirty right now but i i feel like i remember using a bolt welded to some bullshit on my slide hammer to pull that out and i think i need to do that in order to be able to lift this head off um i have to get the glow plugs the wires unhooked and then the main head bolts what i'm going to call the main head bolts what's left are these triple squares there's still a buttload of them and then to be sneaky there are one two and i thought that there was one down inside also uh five millimeter allens holding the thing down for no apparent reason um it's kind of late in the day but i'm going to go ahead and uh I'd like to get this head off today. I'd really like to solve the mystery of what's going on with this thing so I can make a plan. But uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'm just going to keep working. I'll bring you guys back one way or another whenever it's done. All right. It's about 5 o'clock. Um, weekend's gone too fast. There's nothing obviously wrong with this head gasket. I'm going to peel it off. In this back chamber, I can see that it's been burning coolant. I dumped a little bit also, but that crusty shit's coolant has been burning. Um, this is also cylinder five. I don't, I haven't wiped this off so you guys can see too, but I don't see anything obviously wrong here. You know what I mean? It's not like there's a visible crack or a little carbon, a little fine head appears to be fine um but nevertheless this time around i'm going to take the all right my battery went dead um yeah like i said there's nothing obviously wrong here 
I don't really know. I'm probably going to, uh, well, for today, I'm going to clean up and put the stuff away, but I'm probably going to take that other head to the machine shop and have it pressure tested and stuff. I don't know what else to do at this point. There's no, like, hole in my block. There's no obvious crack here. So, uh, why not throw good money after bad? But anyway, uh, this is definitely going to be running for the summertime. It's just the way it is. I'm not going to accept it not running. Um, I got to move on to that thing still. I spent all my money for the oil pan and to get the engine back in on that thing. But, uh, say la vie. We're here to live, right? Um, so, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I know a lot of you don't care about the Toyota content, but I don't care about that. So, we'll see you next time on Driveway Engineer.